postman's just been. We've got a nice big cardboard box here. Let's go into the workshop and build something completely different. It's good to be back in the workshop again after building and converting that model aeroplane the other week from IC to electric. This is something completely different. I've got a different shirt on. Maybe you can guess by the type of shirt I'm wearing what I'm going to be building next. Just bought that cardboard box I showed you just now into the workshop. I've unpacked it. And here we go. You now have the body shell, which I'm going to put away, which I'll cover on it in a few episodes' time. And more importantly, you have the Camtech model hot rod kit. I'm a huge fan of National Hot Rod Racing, as you probably can tell by the shirt I'm wearing. Always wanted to have a go at full-size National Hot Rod Racing, but a bit put off by the amount of travelling I'd have to do to, to go and take part. That brings us on to model hot rod racing. Back at the end of 2017, early 2018, I had a go at indoor model hot rod racing using a converted GT12 car, which wasn't too good. I eventually ran out of time. Sold the gear car on, thought no more about it. Here we are, July 2020. I've got a bit more time on my hands, and it's time to have a go again. So, phoned up a company called Camtech the other day, and they sent me the kit through the post. Brilliant company to deal with. Small local company just down the road from here, down in Bognor Regis in West Sussex. A couple of days later, the kit turned up. I was just unpacked it. Let's have a quick look in the box now. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Got an instruction manual. So please use as a build guide. This is very similar to the hot rod. Okay, that shouldn't be an issue. We've got what looks like a glass reinforced plastic chassis. A little like the rear wheels. Or no, they're the front wheels. Here are the rear wheels, which mount on the mount on the carrier. This is everything that came in the box. Everything's really, really well packaged up. That looks like the battery mount, rear body shell mount, motor and gearbox pod, front end bearings spur gear. Note for hot rod racing we have to use very very coarse gear gears. Not, I think that looks like about a 32 DP and that's a 52 pinion so that's nice and coarse. Really really cheap to, to replace if that gets broken. That's a nice really strong firm plastic. Got the front wishbones. Stuff axles. Again everything. this is all packed up to a really really high standard indeed. Body posts. Track rod sets servo saver, standard front springs, flange bearings for the rear pod. Let's get some tools out and let's get cracking on with the build. So according to the instructions, the first thing that needs to go together will be this section which is the battery pod. I think it looks to come in this little bag here. Again it's a nice looking assortment of some long countersunk screw, hex screws and some nylon nuts. So there's no need for to use thread lock on there. Let's put them in accordingly. One, two. Actually, it said in. I thought initially that the, the, the four nuts that hold these on were nylons, but not, they're just standard nuts. So I'm not going to thread them, I'm not going to thread lock them on at this stage. Make sure that everything fits okay.
so aus von uns. There, and that's got the, the battery holder mouse put in place. Okay, the next thing I'm going to offer up will be the bolt guide pin, which is the countersunk bolt that goes up through there. This is it, has a washer on it. On the top of there, followed by the hollow tube. So it's on nicely. And then there's a M3 nut that screws onto the top of that nicely. Cool, great. Next thing I'm going to offer up, there's a little bag called kit, hot rod, nuts and bolts. And there's a couple of M3x20s that will be going through here. Okay, that's the guide pin, so you've got nut, bolt, not sure. Nicely. Everything here's got a really, really nice solid feel to it as well. So. At this moment in time, I'm not using thread lock. I may well live to regret this at some point in the future, but there's, it doesn't say in the instructions to use thread lock, so I'm not going to. I had some mixed experiences with Threadlocker over the years when I put it on there and I then wanted to get the bolts off and it hasn't wanted to come off. So. so yeah. I now have the three pins at the back marked in place and that section is complete. The next part of the instructions in here, you've got the, like the front bumper assembly. There isn't a front bumper in this kit because bearing in mind these instructions are for the 1300 hot rod and this is for the 1300 stock car and this kit is for the 2 litre hot rod so I'm going to ignore that for the time being. Move on to section 3 and mount the and fit the servo mounts which are in this little bag here. Servo blocks again if you break one of these £1.50. This is a nice cheap formula. That was a bigger for other RC formulas you could probably put a one in front of that figure. So. They're the countersunks, they'll be going up through the floor of the chassis. Okay, they'll be going in here. We'll need a screwdriver, which I didn't get out of the toolbox. has got a really really nice bite to it, tightening up nicely. I'll talk a bit more about the servo I'm going to fit later on in the program. Let's put this one on. There's a, again there's a nice cutaway bin milled, milled it into there so you could use different size servos if you wanted to. I think for national hot rods or for over racing in general we use smaller than, smaller than normal type servos. Everything bearing in mind this kit is one twelfth and most, th most things in RC are like one eighth or one tenth. You could probably use a full size servo, it'd just be a bit of a squeeze getting it in there. Yeah. That's got the servo mount in there. Again, I'll line that up when I go and fit the servo in there. There's plenty of play in there to put different size servos in there. Nice one. Okay, I'm now at the next part of the instructions down towards the end of section three where you fit the rear body mount on there again these are the these instructions for the 1300 stock car so there's no rear bumper on the hot rod to unpack the bag that should be, should be relatively straightforward uh, countersunk screws to mount the posts on which will look straightforward that's fine 
they go on here. I could cheat here and use an electric cordless screwdriver, I'm not going to. This is a good old fashioned screwdriver. Dang, put the other body mounting post on there. Get that nice and straight. It's on there nicely. Everything's here is screwing together really, really well. Yes, there's some bite on there, but at no point am I having to force this, force this in either. It's got the rear body mounts on there, looking like that from the rear. Directional. the rear body mount on there just going to mount the body mounting post on there now again this is a bit different because on the camtech kits the body mounts scroll on that way and it and the and they clip then the body shell then attaches via the rear boot rather than on some kits where they sit up that way but again it is quite quite ingenious so let's screw the body mount posts on i'll probably have to change these but once we finish the kit i go to mount the body but again this is just to illustrate how you build it so This is the first bit where I really, really had to like put some torque on, on, on there to get the screws to drop. These are really, really tight indeed. Have to grip that. And that's going to need some pliers on there. Good, and you then you then put the body clips on. Tighten that one up. Not happy with that. Just put the clips on for now, really just for safekeeping. Got dozens of these clips in the spare box. If I did lose one, that's fair enough, but keep them safe for now. Okay, that's great. That's got the rear body mount on there and the clips on there. Hopefully you can see that in the photo. That all looks, and it's all looking really good. I think I'll leave it there to, for today. So in this episode, we've built the chassis up. We've got the servo mounts on. We've got the battery mounts on. We've got the rear pod body on. And we've got the rear body, rear body mounts on. See, so join me again on episode two in a few days' time when we'll build up the front suspension and, and carry on with the build of our Camtech 2-litre hot rod. Until then... Ta-da for now, stay safe, bye-bye.